And the capital markets regulator has penalized three former Chase Bank executives, five board members, and reporting accountant Deloitte over their role in the issuance of a 10 billion shilling medium term bond back in 2015. The Capital Markets Authority has fined former Chase Bank Managing Director Duncan Kaboy 5 million shillings and disqualified him from being a director or key personnel of any issuer in the Kenya capital market for a period of 10 years. Faisal Ahmed has more. After the collapse of Chase Bank, the Capital Markets Authority has penalized top executives and board members of the bank with audit firm Deloitte & Touch over their role in the issuance of a 10 billion shilling bond whilst referring the reporting accountants to the Institute of Certified Public Accountants, ISPAC, for further action. The CMA ad hoc committee determined that there was lack of effective oversight on the part of the board of Chase Bank regarding the use of the funds raised in the medium-term note. Subsequently, the regulator has fined former Chase Bank Managing Director Duncan Kabui 5 million shillings and disqualified him from being a director or key personnel of any issuer in the Kenya capital markets for a period of 10 years. Former CEO Paul Njaga is also to pay a fine of 5 million shillings, while former finance director Ken Obimbo has been handed a 5 million shilling fine and a five-year ban from participating in the Kenyan capital markets. The regulator has also fined board members Anthony Gross, Laurent Demi, Modoni Kuria and Rafiq Sharif 2.5 million shillings each for their role in the issuance and use of the bond. Another board member, Richard Carter, has been fined 1 million shillings. The capital market investigations earlier this year also revealed that Chase Bank auditors Deloitte did not respect the failure of the lender's IT system in their annual audits, creating a loophole used by the bank's management to hide details of billions of shillings siphoned from the bank. A 14 billion shilling hole created by the loophole was discovered in 2015 after the Central Bank of Kenya ordered an IT audit. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.